This activity can be used for vocabulary words. So it's called three pictures in one word it. And so what the students do is they're going to have three pictures and one word to describe their vocabulary term. So on this slide, you can see the example right here is the term in the speaker notes because you could use this as a game. So if you wanted to use this as a game, you'll probably want to have your students put their word uh, for the vocabulary term in the speaker notes. But right here, you can see that there's three images and then there's one word about this word down here. Um, so again, it can be really fun for students, three pictures and then one word to describe that vocabulary word. So students will make those three different pictures, they'll find their one word, and then they'll add it onto their slide. And again, if you wanna make this a game, you'll just put this in the speaker notes because what I would do is I would hit present full group and then we would talk, okay, what do you think this word is? And students would use those three images and that one word to kind of determine what is that vocabulary word that another group created. Right here are the vocabulary words that the students could use. Um, so you could have them pick all of them or you could have them pick four, depending on how much time you want to spend on this activity. Uh, and then on slide three is the template. So what I did is I used placeholders, these image placeholders, to allow students to come in, add an image to um, their slide really easily. So again, they put their vocabulary word right here. They go here and they hit search the web or whatever they want to do. And then they can search whatever, um, so like for example, water. And what that's going to do is they pick it and it's going to create exactly that shape um, you can see in my examples. Then they'll type in their one word. So right here, they'll type in that one word um, for their learning and what they kind of want to talk about with their vocabulary word. So to get those image placeholders, you have to go into, let's go ahead and do a blank slide. And I have to go to slide edit theme. Once I'm in the theme, I go to insert, and then I can go into placeholders. And then I can decide what type of placeholder I want to add for my images. So placeholder. And then I can go ahead in and I can say, oh, I want a circle. And then students would be able to add that circle, their image to, and it will again save it as a circle. So if you want to change the shapes, totally fine, but could be a really um, fun activity and maybe a little difficult for students to think about what three images would describe this word. Um, and again, they're working in groups to create this, and then they're working as a group to solve um, the game. Hope you enjoy.